What is up guys, Chris here from Bear Market Mining. Welcome back to the channel. So we have been mining Warthog for around uh, seven days and honestly, it's been the most fun. I've had mining any corner algorithm in ages, but there has been a solid learning curve. So in today's video, we're gonna uh, help you out with that as much as we can. We'll look at things like hash rates, overclock settings, CPU versus GPU ratios. We'll look at profits, sort of everything involved. So if you're into that, let's get to it. Okay, so first let's start over in Hive OS. We'll see uh, where we were and where we are now. So we started off um, with all the same CPUs. They haven't changed, but the GPUs have changed. I've basically pulled off a couple of those cards, the two 3060s and put my 3090 and 3080 from a mixed rig onto those two 5900X and the 3900X just to sort of max out um, the hash rate I can get on those because as you've seen these are making more money mining Warthog than they are, are sitting on any other algorithm so that's why we've pulled them off so first things we'll look at let's go into uh, let's just do some some basic overclock settings for for people who are who are trying to figure that sort of stuff out so where to start so the 4070 I believe we're on so it's not memory intensive on the GPU, so you can always set your memory clock to 810. Um, some people like 5000, 5001. I haven't found any uh, any real difference, so we've stuck with 810, kept it as low as possible. Now, very core intensive, so this is where you're gonna to wanna to tweak. I think last week in our video, we started out at about 1000, uh, just because. And uh, what we found is that you can basically follow um, sort of, you know, Pyron hash sort of algorithm overclocks. Um, so that recommends about a 2400 uh, core clock on it, similar 250 um, offset. You can put this up and down if you want uh, more or less power, completely up to you. But I've found that Pyron hash has been a pretty good way to, uh, to get some reasonable overclocks. But of course, do your own tweaking. It's just a good place for you to start. So a good little uh, starter resource that you guys can use um, over on the Warthog Discord, they have uh, started getting together a spreadsheet um, with people's different overclock settings on different cards. So you can get a bit of an idea um, of what to expect. Now it is in the beginning stages, so there isn't a ton on there yet, but a good 31. Um, you know, there's 5900Xs on there, 7950s. Um, range of different cards, 3080s, 3060s. So you'll be able to get a bit of an idea of what to expect um, out of your CPU and GPU combo. And also over here on the right, you see, for example, people have got, you know, their core memory offset, things like that. So a good place also to have a look at um, if you want to get some sort of baselines um, or if you're doing some research, thinking about setting up a rig and, uh, and want to know what you could be in for um, as far as how much yield or profit you could be making. Now, remember in that last video, we did uh, show the um, Warthog calculator. Um, so be sure to go into that, check that last video out if you wanna get the link for that one. So plenty of information going around already and it's just the beginning. So uh, lots more to come, I'm sure. Another good way to figure out um, expected hash rates from CPU GPU combos is to use a, a ratio. Now speaking with a bunch of people over on um, the Warthog Discord, um, they've mentioned anywhere from a 20 to 60 X um, as far as GPU versus CPU ratio is considered meaning. So if we take a GPU hash rate over here, our Janus hash rate, we've got 555. Five. Let's just take that one up top. Um, divide that by 24.95, comes out to 22.24. So we'll do this on a few of them just so you can get a bit of an idea. Um, once again, over on the 4070, so we go 624, we divide that by 29.6, 21 once again. Um, and then on the 5900X and the 3090, uh, we've got 699, we divide that by 33, comes out to 21 so i've found for my setup um sort of mid to i guess higher end depending on where you fall in the uh the spectrum of of hardware um it works out to about a 20 to 1 for me so it'd be really interesting to see those people who have that higher 60 to 1 um so if someone has like a much higher ratio i'd be really keen to see so make sure you leave that down in the comments um 
interested to see you know whether it would be worth really sort of investing a bit more into this getting some 7950s or even some epycs and and see how much hash we can pump out you know just for uh for science i think that'd be a lot of fun to do so 20 to 1 is what i've found um you guys can maybe go back over to that spreadsheet and check the numbers see if people are lower or higher but this was something in the beginning that i was really unsure of so now that we've uh, we've learnt a little bit more about this, it's it's nice to know sort of what I could expect from this sort of range. Next up, let's talk about how many GPUs can I have on a rig. So I can only speak in my experience, but for example, um, on this 30 uh, 5900X down here below, we previously uh, tried putting two 3070s. Now we're getting about 500 mega hash uh, for a single 3070, and I think we only got up to about 615 mega hash or maybe 650 max. So what's that like a 20 something percent increase? But it did double our uh, power usage, which decreased our efficiency, dropped it in half. So depending on what you're going for, whether you're going, if you're going for yield, throw as many cards on there as possible. If it keeps increasing your hash rate, great. Um, if you're going for profit, I would recommend one GPU per CPU, um, depending on what it is. If it's a top of the range CPU, then maybe that will be a little bit different, but efficiency, one graphics card, uh, yield, as many as you want. If power is not an issue, go hard, I say. Speaking of hash rate gains, BZ Miner has released a new version. Now, this is not available on Hive OS yet, uh, to my knowledge. We'll double check in a second, but it does give an improved Varus hash rate. Uh, so you will you will squeeze a little bit more hash uh, out of a rig. I found about five to ten percent something in that range i think i was at about 1900 uh, mega hash 1.9 mega hash somewhere around that to, to 2.1 um so definitely a nice little boost there i'm um, also showing shared difficulty um api providing janu score per device which is nice other small updates and i haven't said what exactly yet but i'm sure there will be some other good stuff coming soon busy miner doing a real good job uh, with Warthog at the moment. And that actually reminds me, I have had a bunch of people um, ask me about, or not ask me, I should say, saying, look, I've done everything you've, you've said. Um, we've followed the flight sheet uh, and it's still not mining. What I've found often people are forgetting, well, not forgetting to do, probably just don't know they should do. Um, they're putting the latest in here as far as the version. Now, for some reason, that doesn't work. It didn't work for me. It didn't work for a lot of people. So I've found that uh, putting the, the latest version is 21.0.3. Um, that makes it work every time for me. But if you want to uh, upgrade to this newer BZ miner that isn't yet on HiveOS, um, you can go down here, HiveOS command line. You can copy this, paste it into um, your screen over here and uh, that will upgrade it. Now I did find, and I think it says in here also somewhere, um, yeah, not a lot of testing has been done. Uh, no, oh uh, yeah, there we go. Um, if this version does not work well for you, feel free to send the previous BZ one. Now I did find that 21.1.1 .1 at first um, was just restarting over and over again. Well, not over and over again, but maybe every hour or so. Um, so I did leave it on one of my 5900 rigs and um, left the other 5900 on the previous version. And for some reason, then they both ended up working fine. So I have upgraded to get that, that, that newer hash rate and found it's actually working quite well for me. But, you know, try it out for yourself. If it's, if it's unstable, switch back. It's not worth the extra 5% to have the rigs offline. So the last little tip uh, that I've got for you as far as um, overclocking flight sheets and things like that is to undervolt your CPUs. Um, now, most people who are uh, into CPU mining already know this. We do it for things like Zephyr, um, Raptorium, all those other sort of uh, algorithms, coins. Um, I have left one of my rigs on stock um, core voltage. So it's running at a higher voltage. Um, and then tested it with a, an undervolt at 0.975 and have found no significant uh, hash rate gains or improvement. What I have found is uh, more heat 
uh, which is never good. Uh, less longevity in the CPU and very little uh, gains, like I said. So make sure you undervolt your CPUs. But if you don't want to, up to you. Um, if you've got a good beefy cooler on there, you know, that's going to help keep them cool. I do, um, but still always undervolt as far as I'm concerned. Um, one other thing, actually, uh, thread count. Now, BZ Miner will automatically reduce your thread count by, I think it's around 10%. Um, now, you can increase your threads if you want, but BZ Miner says, it says something like it does allocate a single thread to running BZ Miner itself and then one to running the algorithm, I think. So if you were to increase the threads, you're really just gonna be um, bottlenecking everything there and, and just not worth it. So I would stick to um, just letting it auto allocate those threads or you could go even less if you wanted to reduce power. Um, might increase efficiency, I haven't tested it. But, I, but yeah, that's what I'd be doing as far as CPUs go. All right, so let's get into the thick of it. How much money are we actually making uh, mining Warthog? So as I said, um, we've been on it for about seven days. As of recording this video, it's actually closer to about nine or 10, but we'll go off um, our sort of daily and, uh, and weekly just because those numbers are there um, right in front of us. So uh, these four rigs are pulling 873 watts um, i'll insert a screenshot somewhere of that um, so let's do a bit of maths here so it says um 24 hours 11 dollars 53 so this is uh aud obviously aussie dollars i am australian in case uh you guys can't tell um so no we won't start there so we'll go 873 we'll times that by 24 We'll divide that by 1000. That's going to give us our kilowatt hours per day. So then we'll times that again by my electricity rate, uh, which comes out to uh, $3.98. So 20, last 24 hours, we've got $11.53. We minus $3.98 and we end up with, uh, with $7.55 a day um, over the last seven days that we've been profiting. Um, which works out to 52 bucks a week. Now, I'm not selling, obviously. Fortunately, I'm not in a position uh, where I need to. Um, so I'm holding everything. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it's crypto. Warthog's had a bit of a price regression in the past week. Um, I think this number a couple of weeks ago should be doubled. So bull run coming soon, guys. Hopefully, um, that will go back up. But look, regardless, we've had a ton of fun and really, really been enjoying um, the proof of balance work, the GPU, CPU combo. So we're gonna stick out this for a while. Um, it's definitely not going anywhere um, as far as my mining portfolio goes for a while now. This is the most profitable um, way to utilize these GPUs, I should say. Now, if you take in the two 5900Xs, the 5600G, the 3900X, and then that combined with the 3080, 4070, what else have I got? 3090 and the 3070 on there, you won't find more profits putting these on any other algorithms. And if someone can, really let me know down in the comments, but I doubt it, I've looked around. This is, this is by far um, the most profit you're gonna get per day out of these coins. Now, maybe triple mining some of them, you might make more revenue, but I'd be very surprised if uh, if you're getting any more profit out of it. So yeah, look, looking pretty good. Really happy with it at the moment. Um, we've been doing uh, our payouts about 10 a day. Obviously, we increase that hash rate, so it will get slightly higher over the next seven days. But look, we're sticking to it uh, for the foreseeable future at this point. So that's going to wrap it up guys just a quick one um like i said learned a lot in the last week and just wanted to share that with you we've had a ton of people coming into the discord um, asking questions uh, lots of new people in there also helping out so uh link will be for discord down below jump in if you feel like chatting if you liked it make sure you like it and i'll see you in the next one peace